Welcome to Classic Value Investors and Microcap Explosions. I want to talk about a topic of doing work for free or doing things that you don't have to. You see, most of the people that I came across with in my life, I noticed that they only want to do the work when they are either paid for it or told to do it. So, for example, so many times I see situations where people in general will not pick up a book, will not learn about something unless they're told to. And I cannot count how many encounters I had in the past when I was reading a book or I was taking notes or doing something that looked like academic work for and then someone to approach me and ask me if I'm studying for a test and you know at first you know you find it funny then you find it annoying uh, because so many of those times I haven't been in school for like almost 20 years <laughs> I still get asked this question are you studying for a test as if this was the only reason that you would want to learn something. Not for the enjoyment of learning, not just because you want to learn it or because you want to get good. No, you only learn when you are told to, when you are seeking a degree or you want to get a grade. The same kind of situation happens, or I experienced it with people, is that they will not do anything unless they get paid for it. You know, in the in the in the dance business, I, I saw associates that they wouldn't do anything around the studio, dance studio, like pick up trash or anything, unless they were specifically paid for it. And the same thing goes to like, for example, dance practice. I had a I had a dance partner where uh, she didn't want to practice. Like it was always inconvenient to practice. Like no matter how much time there was in the day. She just always found the reason not to practice. And, but if there was a lesson to teach that she would get paid for teaching the lesson, oh yeah, she would always uh, cancel practice or the lesson was okay because that was easy. That was easy. She would get paid money immediately and it was an excuse of why not to practice. But you see, the things that you are not, not required for or the things that you don't get paid for these are the most important things. Like, look at, you know, uh, great athletes like soccer player Cristiano Ronaldo or Jordan or, or even Kobe Bryant. Uh, when you look at those people's stories, you would learn that they would, you know, practice outside of the normal uh, team's practices because they wanted to excel. Nobody paid them extra to, to do the extra work, they simply were driven and they wanted to uh, get better. And, and when, when people ask me in investing, uh, you know, how, how do I, let's say, look for companies or screen for companies, I always look for companies. It's on a continual basis and I always study companies. So I said this before that if you remember, if you read this book, How to Profit from the Coronavirus Recession, uh, the material for the, uh, I mean, it took me like five days to write this book because I already had the material to do this. And that's because when, before COVID came, uh, obviously I had no idea it, it was going to arrive, but I was looking at how well uh, Oracle was performing and I was thinking ahead and I was telling myself, I want, I went through all the companies on New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, a Toronto Stock Exchange, the Venture Exchange, and OTC Market. It, it was about 5,000 companies, and I looked at it one by one, and it took me about 12 months. But it wasn't 
like I was studying each company carefully because it, it's, it's simply impossible, but I looked through every name. I looked at what they did. I looked at their, their financials. I looked at their website and I went one by one over like 5,000 companies and nobody was paying me for that. It was a great exercise to, to look what's out there. And from that list, obviously, I narrowed it down to the ones that interested me and then from that list I looked at it more carefully and then when COVID arrived the sell-off came and those companies that I wanted to own became much cheaper and that's what gave me the the foundation to to write the book on how to profit from the coronavirus. And also that that's what gave me the foundation for the ideas to start micro cap explosions. Now, at that time when I was studying these companies, I had no idea that I was going to monetize it in any way. I just simply wanted to look for ideas, study businesses because I wanted to prepare because I didn't want to be in a situation where I sell something and then I have to have to really find something fast to replace it. I always want to have these ideas that I'm watching them because things always in business, things always change and evolve. So I'm telling you this story because uh, it took me 12 months to do it. It was a lot of work, but it was fun. It was fun work. Uh, but you know, nobody was forcing me to do it. Nobody was paying me to do it. And I didn't know I was going to get paid. Uh, and then this kind of work paid off handsomely in the long term. So, you know, if you look at the most successful people out there, they do the work that is not necessarily nobody is telling them to do it nobody is paying them to do it they are just themselves driven to do that kind of work so you know i suggest that you get into the habit of doing things like that because it's not the eight hours that you put into uh, it's not the eight hours of work that you uh, that you work for your employer it's it's the work that you do for yourself. It's the work that you do outside of it that matters. And the work that is necessary to do, it's mostly just the work that, you know, treated as like you have to pay your dues, you have to do it. Yes, because you have to pay your bills or support your family, but it's the work outside of that, the work that you don't need to do that that pays off really handsomely over the long term. So I, I hope that th this is uh, informational to you. I hope it's insp inspirational, but think of it like this and it will, you know, hopefully pay you, um, pay you over the long term.